Hey my Aquariuses, if I'm talking funny, I've had some dental work done today, so you'll have to forgive me, but I need to get these out. So these will be extended in on the YouTube uh, video, you can hit the more button underneath and it'll drop it all down with all of my links, social media, um, and to the Patreon for the extenders. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, oh, sorry if you're watching on TikTok, hit in my bio, hit the YouTube link. And just go under the videos because I can't put my link tree on TikTok for some reason. Um, but it's Divine Guide with Love Tarot anyway. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook and Insta. So feel free. So we're getting you a guidance card, an advice card for the month of June. And you've got play. I like this. Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. So some of my Aquarius is maybe taking time off work in the month of June. But it's also like if you can't afford to take time off, make sure you're having that like kind of playtime energy. Make sure you're going out and like feeding your inner child, doing something fun. Um, make sure you lo it's laughter, you know, especially if you've got children as well. Um I know we are on the half-term holidays in the UK, that type of thing. But it's about doing things and having fun and getting out of the house. You know, don't think that life is like nine to five, work, sleep, eat, repeat. You know, so in the month of June, it's about taking steps to have a bit more fun, a bit more playfulness energy. So that's your advice for the month. So let's have a look. In the extended, I clarify each and every card. I go a lot deeper into the reading. So... The main energy, we've got the Queen of Fire, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself, Aquarius. Assert your independence and creativity. So I like that. Some of my Aquariuses are going to be going all out. I'm seeing like new colours. I'm seeing like new colour schemes. Um, you could be just like... Right, I'm changing all my bedroom, I'm doing all the... You know, um, I'm getting renovation, you know, that type of energy. Um... A lot of you have been underestimating yourself, though. I don't know why, but I keep getting February in my head. So I know that Aquarius energy is February, but I feel like you've had to gain some kind of independence, some kind of confidence since February. Because I keep getting February in my head. What's crossing that energy? We've got unity. Spiritual organisations, traditional viewpoints and methods, seeking out mentors and like-minded friends. So there could be a bit of a loneliness vibe as well there. You, you know, it's like, who do I fit in with? Who do I do not fit in with? Gemini had this type of, like, read with that type of energy as well. But it's like having the confidence, you know, to go out there and talk to new people as well. You know, the like-minded friends, that type of thing. So you do have people around you who agree with your thoughts and feelings and... So you can have nice conversations and stuff. But I do feel like that's what you're trying to manifest. People in the thought of, there could be like a, a bit of a lonely vibe. So something could have happened around February. But we've got the magician as to why it's coming right now. Aries energy to myself, Taurus to a lot of other readers. Um, you are ready. You have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Some of my Aquariuses need to be, like, I'm, this is going to sound horrible when I say this, but it's like need to be a little bit more grateful for what you do have rather than what you don't have, if you get what I mean, rather than focusing on what you don't have because then you're putting an attitude of gratitude out towards the world. I keep getting this energy of an attitude of gratitude because then that's going to bring that fire-like energy towards yourself. Could have been dealing with a fire sign in the past, may have fire in your chart. Yeah, see, in the past, we've got the seven of fire, feeling that you have to defend your beliefs and decisions. You know, stand your ground, choose battles wisely. But again, with like-minded people, you won't have to do that. So I do feel like there's a change in your circles. There's a change in what you're going to be doing, hobby-wise, that type of thing. But it's like you're getting this confidence. So I feel like you have been surrounded by, or in a relationship, or in a job, you know, where you've been surrounded by people, where you've had to defend your beliefs. Where when you meet the like-minded people, you don't have to defend your beliefs. So I am feeling like a defensive type energy, Aquarius. Take it as it resonates. At present, we've got the free, free of fire. See, that is an attitude of gratitude because the free of fire is standing there and knowing and believing and trusting that what's meant for you is never going to pass you by. So you are in an energy at present of needing to be, you know, I'm so grateful that the sun is shining. I'm so grateful that it's, 
raining and I've put flower seeds out. You know, that type of thing. So grateful for the good people that I do have in my life. I'm grateful that I've got finances. Yeah, you know, I'm grateful for that penny I found this morning. It, little things like that. So abundance, things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. Because going forward, you've got the seven of earth. Seeds well planted. The temporary pause in action. An unnecessary worry. You do have two sevens now. And we've got on top of that, we've got the two of earth. I feel like you're going to go into a really busy energy. But that's why we're getting... I'm feeling like a renovation energy. So I feel like you're doing this. Be careful that you don't overwhelm yourself, taking on too much. But I feel like that's where the pause comes in. So if you're going for, right, I need this done, I need that done, I need this done. And then you've got this like kind of pause energy. You've got a temporary pause. There's nothing to worry about. It's just the saying to you, there's too much going on at once. You know, make a decision. And I kind of want to say, try and do one thing at a time rather than 15 at a time. So I feel like there's a really busy, busy energy here. I feel like it's already here. And to put it out there or to get it done could be overwhelming. So what they're saying is don't overwhelm yourself. Do Basically to do a to-do list, you know. I feel like meetings are going to be significant in some of my um, Aquarius' lives in June. Meetings, um, interviews, you know, that type of thing. Your power is the father of fire. So competing goals, bothering details, conflict with others. Your power, though, is to kind of override the competition. And it's also, you don't need to defend your beliefs and decisions. I'm definitely getting this element of people. Um, I kind of want to say, if that's how you felt before, take a step back. Because you don't need to surround yourself with people where you've got to constantly defend yourself. Because that's lowering your vibration. So I am getting that defensive energy. The outside influence... Yes, yeah, see, you're going from that, people who see you as competition or, um, you know, people who kind of put you down or that type of thing, to the free of earth, teamwork makes the dream work. Some of my Aquarius could definitely be having interviews where you're wanting to, like, leave one job and go to a better job. Um, this is people again, and Gemini's energy. It's so with Libras, actually. So there is an air element here. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality of work and being a team player, whether that's in life or in working life, you know, whether it's in personal life or in working. Because your hopes and fears, the Queen of Air, which is you, the Queen of Souls, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the humour in the situation. So I kind of want to say, if someone from the past or an issue from the past... Um, is still trying to like nitpick or get it, yeah, that's our thing. I feel like you've just got to let it go. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like clear it away and just see it as, do you know what? I'm making space for what does serve me. Don't see it as like a lonely energy because your outcome is the Empress. Taurus energy there. Lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. So you don't, you're going from an energy of not having to fight for everything. You're going to an energy of actually nurturing so I, I like that energy. So I just want to clarify this busy, busy energy. Yeah, the epiphany, the breakthrough. But I do feel like you've got to slow down. I do feel like you're going to have this massive, massive epiphany. And the clearing out, a spring clean, could be people, could be the house. It's like, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. Because you've had some kind of breakthrough, some kind of epiphany. So you've got all this juggling going on, but they're just saying, like, slow it down. You know, maybe ease it out over June and July with the seven being there. You know, we do have the separation on top of that as well. But I'm not even seeing separation. I'm kind of getting the need for light, the need to open curtains, the need to do a spring clean. You know, feeling separated from people but it's not you you're having some kind of like breakthrough you know you've been surrounded by people or you've been sat there like kind of longing for your people and it's coming in yeah release surrender purge let it go release it with the queen of swords ob ob objective decision making you know, release it. And tell me about this a bit about this competition before I go into the extended. So we've got reunion and soul ties. So there could be someone from the past, but I'm not getting it as in like, I feel like there's friends that you really thought or people that you really thought that you were with, um, that type of thing. I feel like you're cutting some kind of tie. Stability. I like it. 
okay so i'll see you on the extended if um this is where i leave you i leave with lots of love sorry my words aren't coming out today i don't know where um and if not i'll see you next time bye